Hey, what's up, guys? All right, I got a Steam Deck video here uh, hooked up to my gaming PC setup. And this is something really cool that I've been wanting to uh, show you guys I've been working on. I talked about it a little bit on my uh, latest episode of All on Deck, but I am going to have an in-depth in -depth episode going into this. But I turned this whole entire system into an emulator into an emulation station using various methods, uh, various software uh, within Linux and uh, my Steam Deck. And what's cool is that it integrates it right into the Steam UI. So as you can see here, we have my Steam games that are installed. But now we have collections. So we have like uh, the emulation software. We have Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Genesis, Mega Drive, Master System, NES, uh, Turbo Graphics, PC Engine, and Super Nintendo, and whatever what other uh, systems that I add will get added here as a collection in its own tab. Or I could go to non Steam games, and as you can see, these are the current ROMs that I have installed as of the recording of this, and I'm constantly adding them. Uh, there's a program that I use that actually downloads the official artwork. There's different um, uh, grids, posters, icons. This is what they call the poster layout. So you have like, you know, some of these are Game Boy, some of these are NES, some of these are Genesis, different versions. Some of these are the arcade versions, some of these are the home console versions. Some of these are the Game Gear versions, all different stuff. And as you can see, these are fully emulated. I got a PlayStation 4 DualShock to connect Bluetooth if I want to play with that. Or if I want to play, you know, two-player. Two um, these all work in handheld mode. I got all the Sonics, I got all the uh, Streets of Rage, Mega Mans, Super Marios. There's tons and tons and tons of ROMs here uh, through a retro arc, um, a program called EmuDeck, and another program called Emulation Station. I'm actually going to show you this. So these games, um, see, and then you have the backgrounds here, and then you have the logo here. So there's a whole different set of artwork that you have to download for each game. And a lot of the software does it all for you. Like I'm using this one on the desktop mode called Steam ROM Manager. It gets almost everything for you. So I'm going to play this right through Steam. And it puts the borders. It's got all the original sound. Um, you could do save states. preserved ROMs so pretty cool and when you're using the DualShock 4 it's really easy um, it sets it up perfect and what I can do is I can hit the Steam button As you can see we got the little logo there too for Donkey Kong Country 3 or well, we can exit the game and go right back to the main menu. Now I want to show you guys something really cool. Um, if I go back and we go to collections and we go to emulation, there's one called Emulation Station right here. Now, so these are the other emulators, like if you want a Game Boy, Game or Wii U. Um, this one would be for the Wii U, the Dolphin, uh, the PSP. The Game Gear, the ga uh, GameCube, the Switch, you got all that. But Emulation Station is its own launcher. So say you didn't want to have your Steam UI cluttered and you wanted it just for Steam games. Well, this is its own launcher and it works pretty much the same way. You can use it with touchscreen or you can use it with the keyboard. So as you can see, I've got Super Nintendo. Genesis, so if I go into, Ge or let's see, we'll do um, NES. 
And you can do out artwork on here too. Uh, let's see, we'll do uh, Super Mario 3. So this is inside of its own launcher, which is pretty cool. works the same way. So this is how this is how it works inside of emulation station. This is a a launcher like Steam, but it's just for your ROM. So if you don't want to use Steam ROM Manager to put your games into Steam, you could actually go right into Emulation Station, and it works the same way. If you go back to the main menu, see it runs through RetroArch. It's running through RetroArch. Or you could go right back to Emulation Station. Or you can exit the game altogether. And then this goes back to the Steam UI. So I'm still playing around with it. I'm still getting artwork. But that's the setup so far. It's actually sick. I'm constantly adding ROMs. I'm constantly changing stuff, tweaking stuff. Maybe I'll have a video in the future on, on uh, just on Steam ROM Manager and Emulation Station and EmuDeck. There's like three of them that I've been using. Well, RetroArch also. I mean, I, I've i been using that, you know, with the Miu Mini, but mostly these three pieces of software, uh, since they work great with Linux, I've been using them with the Steam Deck. And that's the collection, and that's the setup I got so far. So I'm pretty happy with it. It works great with the controller. It works great hooked up to the uh, desktop. And it works great right on the Steam Deck in handheld mode. So it's pretty cool. So you got your, your ROMs and emulation and retro on the go across many, many systems. You could do the Jaguar. You could do Sega CD. Um, you could do Arcade. You could do pretty much everything. Thanks for joining me.